I'm still having so much trouble dealing with the idea of somebody that is gaining so much benefit from tolerance. Um, you know, piercings, tattoos, uh, playing music uh, with profanity in it, um, having a, a girlfriend uh, from another race. I all these things, you go backwards in time, and those are going to be removed from you. Um, and they'll be removed from you uh, by, like, a societal pressure, uh, maybe even violence, you know. Can you imagine wanting to kiss the person that you fell in love with, but you're afraid to do it in public? And there's a bunch of people that uh, they were afraid to do things in public, and they went and did them anywhere, anyway. And... Uh, and now, uh, because they well, they sat in a, uh, a place where it said whites only, and they sat down, and they're like, you know what, you want you want to move me, you're gonna move me. Um, you know how dangerous that was. You know you know what could happen. You know there, uh, you think that only one or two people did that, um, or did a huge amount of people do that, and did a huge amount of people pay a gigantic price. And I don't know. It's 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 the smallest thing to the greatest thing um, that, you know, you might say a, a, a simple swear word. Do you know the most common word that is the last word on a recording of a crashed plane? Because you, you read the transcripts, they publish them. But did you know that they omit uh, what tends to be the last word out of a dying human being's mouth as their plane crashes, the pilot's? Um, it's a cuss word, and it's omitted. I think that uh, we need we need to have that word printed. I think that uh, we need to have people, uh, for for the love of God, we need to have people being naked. Um, I go to uh, to places where uh, nudity is tolerated to varying degrees. Um, beaches mostly, where you know, people want to go swimming. They want to uh, lay in the sun. Um, they want to feel natural and uh, healthy, and they don't want to be uh, made to feel ashamed. They don't want to be shamed uh, for what they do. Um, yeah, and there's people actually that call the police on, on, on sunbathers. And there's families out there. There's kids out there. Yeah, kids get to see naked people. Um, kids, oh, like, what are you worried about? What are you worried about? And why are you so worried when you get so much benefit from those people that sat in a seat that said whites only? And, uh, and now your world is different. Um, would, you have, uh, would you have asked that woman to move if you were on that bus? She's breaking the rules. I don't know. I hope, I hope you think of that when you look at the woman you love. And you realize you could kiss her in public, and people look over at you and be happy that you found somebody uh, to kiss. It's so nice to have somebody to kiss. And it's so nice to be able to do it when you feel it. And it's so nice to be able to express yourself that way without fear, without worry. It makes me angry, actually, that I, 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 I did publish that uh, video of my girlfriend and I uh, naked. Um, uh, in support of Fred, and it makes me angry I had to do that on another channel because I was scared. I feel, I wish I would have been braver, and uh, I think that if it wasn't for Fred, I wouldn't have been that brave. So, I don't know, I'm so grateful to people that push uh, the boundary, and uh, I'm so angry with people that feel they need to enforce the boundary. You gotta think before you act, just think. Is it something that you need to change, or is it something that you need to make other people change? And if you want to make other people change, then is that what you're going to do from now on? Is that where you're going to cruise the web uh, looking for people to flag? No, I don't think you are. But uh, if you did it once, you know, maybe that's all, all it takes. Maybe uh, one person saying something on the bus. You know, hey lady, you shouldn't be sitting there. You know, and maybe that guy never said anything like that again. But uh, 
maybe uh, every time that lady sat there, maybe one of the 50 people did say something. She got talked to 50 times. And you're like, oh, well, I only said it once. <laughs>